Hi, welcome friends. I promised you a book haul. Um, as you can see, we have lots of books. Um, I love to read. I love the books to be there when I want to read them. Um, I try and recycle some, so if I've read it and enjoy it, I pass it along to someone else that would like to read it or put it in those little neighborhood libraries that you see or share it with a friend or family. But some of them I love and I might want to read them again, so I keep them, or I haven't read them yet. So, and um, one of my favorite places, and they have not sponsored this at all, it's just my personal favorite place to get them is on Thrift Books. It's, um, it's an app or it's online. So check it out and see if you can find some. Sometimes you can also find some older, like out of print books or not as prevalent. So that's another reason I like to go there because you just never know. Sometimes they're also cheaper than Amazon. So anyway, I have two packages of books from Thrift Books. So let's open them up and see what I what's in them because see what more books I have. So, ooh, that's a big one. Mrs. Dalton's Book of Household Management. So I like to watch The Daily Connor Sewer with Jennifer L. Scott. And she has not sponsored this at all. I'm just sharing it because she's one of my favorite YouTubers and I enjoy her books. She read this book and recommended it. So I went online and Mrs. Beaton's Book of Household Management. She has several other books that I've also ordered. So they might be in this haul. So it'll be interesting to read this and see what it has to say. So there you go. That's book number one. Then we have Farmer Boy by Laura Ingalls Wilder. I have all of her other books in her Prairie House series, except this one. I never read it, it never interested me. I don't know why, I just didn't care. I just liked everything from Laura's viewpoint. But then, once again, um, Jennifer Scott L. Scott from Daily Connoisseur was talking about things that she's learned in life from the little farmer boy, and was reading excerpts of it, and just listening to those excerpts, I'm like, oh my gosh, how could I have missed this? I need to read this one too. So I bought my own copy so I can read it as well. Then we have, this is one of my favorite children's Christmas books, The Crippled Lamb by Max Lucado. I have read it to my children several times when they were little, and now I'm going to share that on my channel during Christmas time. So, The Crippled Lamb by Max Lucado. And then we also have, which I've never read, but I've always wanted his books, because I know he's really clever with puns and words, and it's called The Chocolate Mousse for Dinner by Fred Gwynn. Now, some of you that are older like me may recognize the name Fred Gwynn. Um, he was actually the one that played Herman Munster. He was also in My Cousin Vinny is the Judge. And he was a very smart man and liked to write fun children's books that were plays on words. So here's one of his books that I'll also be reading on my channel for the children. So stay tuned for that. Now we have one more package of books. Let's see what's in this one. Not wanting to cooperate very well. I need to sharpen my scissors. You know you can sharpen your scissors by cutting them up on folded pieces of aluminum foil. It will sharpen them. Isn't that kind of crazy? But it works. Here we go. So we have, oh, another Mrs. Beaton's Cakes and Baking. I love baking, especially desserts. So I'm excited to see what she has to say. Over 200 time-honored recipes. So I'm excited to see what those are. I love the look of the book too. Just that vintage old style. Isn't that neat? I love it. No pictures, but that's okay. I've baked enough. I know what things should look like. <laughs> and our last Mrs. Beaton's books, Mrs. The Best of Mrs. Beaton's Household Tips. Also kind of a vintage cover. Time-honored tips for the busy household. I don't know that my household's busy now that my, I'm an empty nest, but I'll take all the tips I can get. If it makes life more efficient and easier, I'll take it. So there's another book of hers. She has several other books out there as well. So this one is helps you with freezing um, food and health and nutrition and pests and stain removal. So it's a variety of things. So check out her books, Mrs. Beaton. So now we have... Oh, another book from Fred Gwynn, The King, The King Who Reigned. See, he's playing on words. Because the king's reign is R-E-I-G-N, but he's got reign like the rain. So he's playing on the words. 
So another book that I'll be reading on my channel. Oh, and another Christmas book. The Christmas On Christmas Eve by Margaret Wise Brown. This is one of my favorite ones that I've read to my children as well. I think I will try and save it for Christmas Eve because I just, I love the pictures. I love the simplicity and hominess of the story. So you will be seeing that at Christmas time. Speaking of more Christmas time, how about How the Grinch Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss. I can't believe I didn't have a copy, but now I do. So I can read that on my channel for you. And you can hear How He Stole Christmas, another Christmas book. I'll be reading those in December because that's Christmas time. And then we have, of course, Charlie Brown's Christmas by Charles Schultz. So, yep, it'll be like kind of like the movie. So, I will be reading that on my channel for Christmas. So, we have some more Christmas books. And then we have the last one. Jan Brett Home for Christmas. I don't know, I'm a sucker for artwork. That gets me every time. If the artwork is beautiful and visual, I like the book. And the story becomes secondary until I read it. Then if the story is really cool, then I love the whole book. It's the adult books where the words matter more to me and the pictures matter to the children's books. So there you go, we have these three books. And a Christmas book that will be being read at Christmas time. And some more Christmas books. And the last two Christmas books. I'm trying to fill one for every single day of Christmas. Up until Christmas. And then we have the three household books from Mrs. Beaton. And lastly, Laura Ingalls. Her one book I didn't have. So... Thank you for um, enjoying joining me with the book haul. I'm sure there'll be more books. Um, this weekend, my husband and I found some that we like, and so we've ordered more. So if you want to see another book haul, I'll be happy to share some more books that we found because they're coming in the mail. So we'll ha I'll be happy to share it with you. And thank you for joining me, and I hope today you read a good book. Um, I will share what I'm currently reading. On the Way to the Wedding by Julia Quinn. It's one of the Bridgerton books. I've read the other seven. This is book eight. There's one last book that kind of has all the epi epilogues as well as a little novella in it. So that's the last one. So I'm working my way through the Bridgerton books. Plus, I have several other books. So I hope you read a good book today. And maybe let me know what you're reading. I'd be curious if there's any more books that you have or that you love that I don't have and I might need to read. So... Hope you share it with me and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for coming.